think of the first step in factoring. Do we have a common factor common to all four terms we can factor out? The answer is no. Since this is now one, two, three, four terms, let's try factoring by grouping. I'll group the first two and then the last two. The first two terms, there's a common factor of y squared. When I factor that out, I'll have x minus 7. Look at the second set of two terms. What's common? I'm going to factor out a negative 4 because I know I want a positive x here if there's any hope of factoring by grouping. And 28 divided by negative 4, that's negative 7. You can check here by multiplying, and I'll let you do that. Now look at these two terms. Notice there's a common factor of x minus 7. If I factor it from this term, I have y squared minus, if I factor it here, 4. Always check and see if you can factor further. I can factor no further here, but notice this is the difference of two squares. So I can, in fact, factor further. To factor this, it's the difference of two squares, so y times y, two numbers that are the same and give me a product of 4 would be 2 and 2, and then a plus and a minus. You can check, but here is my correct factorization.